Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you and today I've got a great topic for you. We're going to talk about tezofenzine. But before we get into that, just a big shout out and thank you to everybody out there supporting the channel. I cannot thank you enough. If you haven't yet, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Anything that you can do to interact with the channel, it's helping the channel to grow and it's allowing me to produce more and more content for you each and every day. Also, today's video is sponsored by letsgetcheck.com. Now, letsgetcheck.com specializes in at-home blood testing. All you have to do is go to the website, letsgetcheck.com, check out all their testing. They offer for men and women. They've got hormonal, they've got wellness. Check them out, order your kits. They're gonna ship them to you in the mail. Once you get them, go online and register them. Provide the sample, ship it back. You're going to get your results extremely fast. They'll notify you by email. They've got doctors and nurses there to answer any questions or concerns that you might have about your blood panels or anything in general. So check them out. Let's get checked.com. Coupon code Jamelli30 is going to save you 30% off. All right, so today's video is going to be just an information video. I really want to talk to you about tezofenzine. It's getting extremely popular. It's just been growing in popularity. I When something new comes out and it gets really popular. I'm all over it. I'm learning about it, but I like to wait for a while to put the videos out so I can get a better understanding of it in terms of watching how more and more people react to it as opposed to a few studies, a few anecdotal things here. I like to take my time with them so I have more comfort in my delivery because a lot of times when I jump the gun or when most people jump the gun, what they have to do is go back and revisit and redo it and say, you know, this was wrong and this was wrong. It's not their fault at all. They're just going on the information that was given. But I just like to, one, I don't like to have to repeat myself. And two, I like to be more precise in what I'm delivering. And it's hard to be precise when there's a lack of info. There's probably still a lot of things that are off in what I'm about to tell you over time. But this is what we have right now after a good period of time for it being more out there and mainstream. And so that's the kind of information that we're going. I always preface it. I don't know everything in the world, but I do know this industry in terms of I try to stay up to speed with everything that's new that's coming out. It's impossible to do it. I read almost seven days a week. And so there's always new things. But know that I'm trying to deliver the most accurate info that I can find and that through I, that I've experienced possible. So there's the spiel on that. Let's kind of get into it. So basically, tezofenzine is a noradrenaline dopamine. And it's a serotonin uh, reuptake inhibitor. Now, this means that the medication is going to prevent our synapses from taking these neurotransmitters away. So we're left with more noradrenaline, dopamine, and serotonins in our system. Now, this might sound a little familiar to some people because a lot of mental health med medications, um, eating disorder medications, they kind of have a similar process to them. Now, the difference in these medications is they don't produce the weight loss that many people are looking for. Now, tezofenzine is known for that. Now, researchers were looking at it at first for a treatment for Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, but then they did some clinical trials on it and people started losing way too much weight. So they had to put the trial on hold because of the extreme weight loss to kind of figure out what was going on. So they started to analyze the medications for people that are suffering from obesity or need to lose weight. So they kind of switched their paths on it. Now, I kind of want to talk to you about how it works a little bit, um, just the process. So once they shifted the focus of tezofenzine to weight loss, they found that it was reducing appetite. So it stimulates our um, choleragic system and it becomes a lot more successful than an average weight loss memory, uh, remedy does. Now, our uh, cholinergic system in itself, what it does is it regulates a variety of systems in our body. So like your sensory processing, your attention, your sleep, your arousal. So it stimulates this system and it allows our bodies to work a lot more rapid than they normally do. Now it also, uh, tezofenzine is going to increase the near transmission of Manoa Menergic neurotransmitters. So that's going to regulate energy balance, so to speak. Now each of the neurotransmitters it, it affects has a connection to obesity and depression. So by increasing these neurotransmitters, what it's going to do is reduce the chance of both obesity and depression. So let's talk about some uh, tezofenzine benefits. There's been a few studies that have done that looked at how it worked in a variety of different patient cases. So some of the things I'll run down the list of what we've kind of found with it that I've, I've seen. 
It's going to in increase your energy metabolism. It's going to suppress your appetite. It's going to improve your quality of life. It's going to obviously help your body composition in totality. It's very neuroprotective and it can lead to an improved insulin sensitivity. It has some antidepressing effects as well. So you see there's a lot of benefit, which means there's a lot of allure and a lot of draw to it. But the weight loss properties are the primary benefit, all right? Um, that's one of the top health problems worldwide is obesity, and that's the main benefit that you're going to find with it. Now, it does have some side effects that are possible with it, and there's a lot of clinical trials that show minimal side effects. It, there's not a lot of drastic things here, but some things that people reported, some dry mouth, um, trouble sleeping, some insomnia, tachycardia is a high heart rate, so some people notice that, some constipation, some diarrhea, nausea, a little bit of hypertension, higher blood pressure. So, And you got to remember, a lot of these are common with things that can increase metabolism. Um, if you have side effects like this, if you're taking it, you got to let a doctor know. They might want to adjust your dose. They might want to have something, a, a different, something to take to counteract some of the problems that go along with it. Now, let's talk about how the weight loss works. So, uh, tezofenzine is basically a triple reuptake inhibitor. So it's like I said, it targets your serotonin, your noradrenaline, and your dopamine receptors. I mentioned that at the beginning. Now, each of these receptors is important in identifying how it works with weight loss. And when you look at them in totality, they explain how tezofenzine is able to have such a strong effect on weight loss. So being that it's a triple reuptake inhibitor, it's going to stand out against a lot of other weight loss medications out there. So keep that in mind. Serotonin, let's talk about that. So that's a neurotransmitter, and it's going to play a role in, in many different bodily functions. So some of these are going to include mood, sleep, uh, digestion, nausea, wound healing, blood clotting, bone health, sexual desire. These are all different aspects of things that serotonin can have effect on. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Overall, the neurotransmitter controls our happiness. Um, satisfaction, optimism, and serotonin. Patients that have too little serotonin are more likely to have a chronic depression type of con uh, condition, um, chemical imbalance. They're also more likely to overeat because they're a lot less likely to get satisfied quickly. And a lot of people that are suffering from these kind of symptoms or these issues know about this quite well. Now, tezofenzine has a similar mechanism to an SSRI, which is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. That's the most common treatment for depression out there, for chronic depression. So by preventing our bodies from picking up extra serotonin, these medications are actually supplying us with more free serotonin. More serotonin is going to increase our ability to feel happiness and satisfact uh, satisfactory. So we're going to be a lot less to feel depressed and less likely to overeat. Then we've got noradrenaline. Um, some people know this as norepinephrine. It's a neurotransmitter and a hormone both. Now, it plays a role in the body's fight or flight response. Many of you have heard about this when you got the adrenaline pumping. Low levels of noradrenaline in the body can lead to a lot of fatigue, a lot of sluggishness, lethargy. When you got high levels, that's going to increase fat loss. You're going to feel a lot more blood pumping, a lot more, let's go. So when it targets this, tezofenzine may actually be increasing your metabolic rates. And this means that the patient can eat more without gaining extra weight. At the same time, a patient's going to be able to start burning fat more. So considering the dangers of being overweight and high body fat, tezofenzine can decrease a lot of risk factors with obesity, diabetes, cancer, hypertension, insulin sensitivity. Uh, then we got dopamine as the last. Now, that's a neurotransmitter that's going to help you produce feelings of satisfaction and pleasure. So when your dopamine's off, you're not going to feel satiated whatsoever. So with diet-induced obesity, you might eat so much food that you begin dampening your dopamine receptors. And this means that your body can't tell whether they're full or not. And that's going to cause you to eat more and more and more because you're never going to be satisfied. So about... And I read this, like 70% of the patients who are obese, obese have 
a lot less dopamine receptors than patients that have a normal body weight. So when you inhibit <clears throat> the dopamine transport proteins, which get rid of dopamine, tezofenzine can then increase the levels of dopamine in your brain. And then what happens? Well, your bodies feel a lot more satisfied faster and you're going to eat a lot less. And it might be able to reverse the dopamine blunting in patients that have diet-induced obesity as well. So uh, I want to talk to you about the dosage, half-life, and interactions. Half-life is like eight to nine days. So it has an extremely long half-life. So some people do dose every other day. You might want to ease into it when you're taking a stimulant because that could be amplified by using tezofenzine. You can stack it with nootropics, SARMs, peptides, other fat-burning compounds and supplements, but be careful doing too much caffeine, too much fat, uh, you know, uh, pre-workouts, that type of thing. Other fat burners, be a little careful with that. Now, studies have shown different types of effective doses. Most of what I see in studies is over six months, and the dosage range is like 0.25 milligrams up to one milligram per day. Now, I've had to read logs, user experiences, and different things like that. A lot of people are reporting a lot of weight loss. The studies show 25 pounds over six months in a lot of people. I see a lot more 0.25 to 0.5 milligrams dosing used by most, and it seems to be tolerated pretty well. You got to be aware of the side effects. You got to listen to your body, but... When you start getting up into that one milligram, 1,000 microgram range, that's pretty heavy and a lot of people don't feel so great on that from what I've seen. Me personally, I don't know how supreme my comfort would be going to the one mark. I would say start at 0.25, see how your body tolerates it and consider going to 0.5 and I would cut it there. I'm not saying you can't go to one. It's been in studies, but I've seen people that have used it, not in studies, that have not felt so great on it. Different types of side effects. Ease into it. Be careful. If you're going to get it, make sure that you get it from somewhere that you can trust. Um, just be careful. Use your head. And if you got questions, go do some research. Revert back to this video. Newer things like this show a ton of benefit, but you have to ease into them and be careful. So always use your head, listen to your body. That being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli signing off.